Hello everyone, my name is Grigor Horat and welcome to our new episode Surfing the Elliott Waves where I will look at some of the most important structures for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. I will look at the Euro, Kiwi, S&P 500 Gold and Dollar Yen. After the ECB last week we have seen first a spike to the upside but then immediate reversal back to the downside. So it looks like that Euro is still stuck in this downtrend that is in play from start of the year but looking at the daily chart here or more importantly only on this structure since August of this year well we are seeing a potential wedge that can be building here in this downturn and usually as you know wedge patterns represents the late stages of a trend so we should be aware still of some kind of a recovery in um, let's say towards the end of the year after the market will try to stabilize near 1.15 level important support so we are still observing two wave counts the first interpretation is that we are here in wave d and wave d is actually um, here part of this very big triangle that's one interpretation meaning that we will resume only to the right trapped in this very big sideways consolidation for for the next few months because wave e is still missing the, the, the another uh, second interpretation is that we will actually continue higher into this wave C as a fire wave movement away from that 2020 low. So that's a wave one, you had a wave two, nice extended wave three, and you are now in wave four. So what's the advantage of these two wave counts? Well, we are still looking on both wave counts with the different interpretations, but still highlighting the same support levels here at 1.15. We also have a wedge, as I said, potentially even an ending diagonal. So we could see a rally and I'm aware of potential bounce here, as I said, in the next few weeks. But after we see a price stabilization. For now, it looks like the euro is here has room for more weakness. We came down below this trendline support, so it looks like that this final uh, lag here is still missing to complete the wedge pattern. Now let's take a look on New Zealand dollar. So stocks are uh, still in uptrend, uh, stock indexes in the US are trading uh, at all time highs. So there's uh, still plenty of momentum available um, within this bullish run. So we will see uh, how this will impact um, the rest of the markets. I mean, commodity currency still, in my opinion, could do very well in this risk on environment. And some of them has been seen in a very nice consolidation and I will take a look on New Zealand dollar because I think that this one is really really interesting here um, now as you know market came to the downside here on the daily chart away from the, the start of the year but with overlapping price action so I think that this is a correction that can take us higher and when I look at the four hour chart here on the right you can see that we have a very nice potential ongoing impulse. What is impulse? It's a five wave movement. But for now, we do not see five wave movement yet. So I think that we will see more upside because notice that in the middle, we have seen a very strong and extended lag. And typically that's represent a wave three. While slow and price and a slow and tight price action represents a correction. So I think that this is what we are uh, seeing right now it's a wave four and i think that we could rally later this week into wave five now the only question is what type of structure this wave four will form will this be a triangle or maybe a deep complex correction in either case i think that the first support that we should watch is at 7140 the next one is at 7090 or uh, 7100 around the 38.2 percent and at this upper line of this base channel okay uh, so I mentioned that we are in a risk on mode, so let's take a look very quickly on the S&P 500. Well, here is firstly daily chart. We completed the fourth wave pullback. You are now in a wave five, or maybe still in final stages of even more extended wave three. In either case, this wave five is a motive wave. It should be structured by five sub waves. And looking at this four hour chart, well, that's not the case yet. Okay, so we are here in a wave one, wave two, Another wave one, wave two, meaning that you are in a uh, impulse here that is that represents this extended wave three. So watch out for more upside, of course, after pullbacks, 
in particular the first support uh, let me update these levels here the first support here would be around uh, 4560 uh, 45, and the deeper one would be at 4524 if we see a reversal from near-term resistance levels okay so after dip i think that there would be room for more upside and now let's take a look also on gold now gold is um gold is still slow on a higher degree time frame charts and looks like that uh, we are still in this very big triangle that i'm tracking and definitely it's a correction on the way up in my opinion we should wait on important break and monthly close above this red trend line to really make sure that we are progressing higher into wave five so until then we should be aware more choppy price action ahead because after all we don't see all needed subwaves a b c d and e in this pattern i'm tracking wave d at the moment which are uh, has room for more upside because on the four hour time frame here i see price action trapped in a wave d so that was actually a sharp recovery here in five waves and now market is just moving sideways here so i think that this whole consolidation between 1720 and 1830 is actually wave b and that we will see our resumption higher into this wave c of wave d of course uh, this even this triangle is still incomplete maybe silver is better uh, on the uh, on the long side because at the moment we can see that gold silver ratio is coming uh, coming to the downside so silver appears to be more attractive at the moment um, now let's take a look on the final market today which will be dollar yen now dollar yen um, has recently came out of this very big triangle still trying to progress even higher uh, so we what we are tracking here is some final stages on the higher degree time frame charts of this bullish trend but even this appears to be incomplete notice that this was a very strong recovery here but now the market is now trying to slow down so this can be representing a pause on the way up and i'm looking for a push higher into wave five of five like shown here on the four hour chart maybe this current consolidation can be actually unfolding as a triangle so i will anticipate potential break higher let's see if this 113.20 support can hold but if we can rally above 114. 46 then i think that more upside here is is coming okay traders thank you very much for attention and talk to you again next week bye